Hello everyone, my name is Mama Hearts Makeup and welcome to my channel. I was very inspired by a look that Kim Kardashian did for the LACMA event that she attended recently and I thought it would be perfect for a possible New Year's Eve or special event makeup so I recreated it here for you today. Starting out with a fresh face. I have moisturized my skin. As you can see, I have the um, rosehip oil underneath my eyes like I usually do. That is what I use as like an under eye cream and I really, really like it. And the concealer really, really glides on top of the rosehip oil. Now I'm going in with this Tatcha um, primer. It's something skin i don't remember the name of it but um i'll i'll put it in there i really really like this primer but you do have to press it in to the pores for best coverage now going over the top of that with my favorite milani foundation i've just really really been enjoying this foundation recently i just purchased a lighter color because my skin you know is not as dark as it was in the summer and the fall but same uh, foundation the milani one i really really like it and now using my good old age rewind concealer to color correct and highlight certain areas that I want to highlight on my face. Now, I am showing you my face, my skin, you know, routine. Um, I know you've probably seen this a million times, but I really wanted to emphasize kind of making the skin look as flawless as possible. Kind of uh, like an airbrushed look. So I wanted you to, sh I wanted to show you the steps. Now nothing's changed except really the, the primer that I've been using and I really, really like that primer. So I wanted to show you how the makeup kind of sits on top of the skin using this primer and I think it's really, really nice. I wish it wasn't as expensive as it is, but you know, there's a lot of product and you really don't use very much so I'm hoping it lasts a really long time. Now blending this um, foundation stick that I use as contour into my skin. I love this uh, foundation stick for this use. It melts into the skin beautifully, blends out beautifully like a dream. And if I don't have, oh my gosh, Dante. Sorry, that's my dog coming in uh, through the doggy door very noisily. But yeah, um, it blends into the skin, and if I'm running uh, short on time, which I usually am when I'm getting ready in the mornings, um, you don't even have to set it if you don't want to. Now going in with this powder, I am really, really enjoying as well. I use the lighter one for um, underneath the contour and the highlighted portions of my skin and then I uh, blend that in but then I go over the top of that with a deeper um, powder not deep but it's closer to my skin tone and then I just go over that uh, powder that I used before and blend it in with each other and it blends out beautifully it's finely milled and I'm really really enjoying um, this powder Now I'm using my old school hula bronzer. Um, as I stated, I wanted a really flawless kind of airbrushed look for this um, makeup tutorial and I wanted, you know, a bronzy kind of contoured look as well. Going over the top of that entire thing with this spray by Morphe. I really, really love this spray. It smells beautifully and I've gone through maybe like three or four bottles already. I went ahead and did my brows off camera. You know, it takes forever, so saving some time. So I'm using this nude um, palette by Huda Beauty. Really, really loving this palette. The colors are just right up my alley, honestly. It's my favorite kind of um, colors to use. The foil shadows are also beautiful. I don't use those in this look, but I have used them and they're quite lovely. Some of the shadows can be a bit powdery, um, but you just got to work them a little bit at a time and then it's no trouble at all. Now I'm using a gel liner as the base for my very dramatic cat eye kind of wing I have going on in this look. This is just a base. I will go over the top of that a little bit later 
with um, some shadow, but I find that the gel liner forms a perfect base for this look. Now just kind of defining that shape a little bit with this Cole pencil liner and then um, using that same liner in the waterline, you really want to um, make sure that the lid space and the waterline and the tie line are covered with the black. It just adds to the drama. Now going into the rose gold palette by Huda Beauty as well using this black shadow. I really really like this black shadow. It's very very dark, very workable and yeah I enjoy it a lot. You know what just in case I forgot to put some powder underneath. Um, you really want to be careful when you're using black shadow because fallout will possibly kill your entire makeup look. I didn't have too much of that with this um, particular tutorial but it's good practice to um, prevent any possible fallout mishap. Now I'm just using a package of, of some that I had close at hand. I didn't want to use tape to define the wing because I had already used my makeup and that can kind of lift it up. So yeah, it, it worked fine actually. <laughs> now going back over that, kind of blowing out that wing with that same soft shadow from earlier. Blending it out, really, really um, making sure it's blended in well. Now going in onto the lower lash line, definitely in the waterline. You know, I used to use this kind of look all the time with the black, um, the black waterline, and then smoking it out. I haven't used that look too much recently, but. Um, I like the way it turned out. Very pretty, very dramatic. And then smoking it out with that same black eyeshadow. It'll also set that liner so there won't be too much transfer throughout the day. And then defining the shape just a little bit with um, an angled brush. Now going in with this waterproof liner just on the inner uh, corner on the tear duct just to elongate it a little bit and create that dramatic cat eye. As I stated, it is waterproof so it should last for a good long time. Now using that same soft eyeshadow to smoke out the lower lash line just a bit more. Let's get rid of that powder. I have blush on this side, time to put it on this side now. Going in with my Luminoso blush by Milani. I love this blush. I felt it would go perfect with this look. And you definitely want to place it on deliberately. You don't want to sweep it on haphazardly as you can see. Now onto the lip with the Subculture Lip Liner. This lip liner is very, very similar in color to my natural lip um, color, but I like using it just to define the shape. And now going over the top of that with this Bite Beauty Lip Crayon, I will put in the information um, what color it is exactly, but it's a very nude color as you can see. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of this highlight and by a little bit you know, that's saying a lot for me because I love this highlight. But in the inspiration of photos, there wasn't too much highlight that I noticed. So I'm putting a little bit on the tip of the nose, a little bit on the bridge, and then taking a fluffy brush and just placing just a tiny bit on to the high points of the cheeks, which is really hard for me because you know I love this highlight. Yep, stop there. Put the brush down. Okay, I didn't put the brush down, just a little bit more. <laughs> Now, letting the clips out of my hair. I don't usually do a middle part, but she had a middle part in the inspiration photo, so I tried to recreate it as best as I could here. And there we go. There is the finished look. Perfect for New Year's Eve, I think, or any special occasion. Very, very easy look to achieve, but the effect is very dramatic and pretty, I think. Thank you so much for visiting me today. I appreciate it so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.